مرحبا اهلا وسهلا فيكم hello and welcome to our channel today we're going to feature lubi blaham which is green beans and steak and is traditionally served over lebanese rice pilaf so let's get started so you'll need the following ingredients for lubi blaham which is green beans and steak uh, fresh green beans you can also use frozen if you cannot find fresh green beans you'll need about 14 ounces of either crushed tomato uh, I have I have crushed tomato, but you can use tomato puree, you can use tomato sauce, you can use tomato chunks, whatever you have in your pantry. I am using beef round steak. Um, you can also use lamb for those, those lamb eaters out there, but normally like a top round or even a bottom round, but any kind of a lean meat. Um, and for those that like a little fatty, you can do that, but we always go towards the meat. Salt and pepper is gonna to be to taste. You're gonna need a small onion couple of cloves of garlic and allspice. So let's get together and show you how this is done. So we'll start off with our green beans. We're gonna clean them out and, and um, de-string them. Some of them, I usually clean off the tips depending on where you get them. If you get them from the supermarket, ready to go, their tips are gonna be taken off and their string is gonna be removed. Um, but I like to go through them just in case. If you get them from the farmer's market, you're gonna find them similar to this where you'll just grab the edge and kind of like de-string them. If you find a, a green bean that's a little bit too large, just go ahead and break it in half because it is gonna go into a pot and cook like almost stew-like. And then once you're done doing your green beans, you're gonna put them in a bowl to go on to, to wash them. And then you'll get your onion and your garlic. Your garlic is just gonna be finely diced. So you'll just dice them fine and put them aside. And then your onion is gonna be the same way. Finally dice it. Now while you're getting your vegetables out of the way, we'll move right into our meat product. And then I'll put them aside. So if you can't find fresh green beans, you can use the frozen. I have done it with the frozen. Um, you might need to do a little bit of extra salt and pepper to taste, um, but they seem they work just as fine. So once I've gone through all of my green beans and cleaned them, I'm gonna just run them under some cold water. You give them a good washing. And then get ready to do our meat. This is beef chunk. And I usually either will get a nice, good sized piece of steak or pieces like this. Um, and sometimes depending on back in the day, if we had many soccer games or practices to get to, I would buy the already chunked, one, chunked pieces like you would use in a stew. So I like to trim the meat a little bit just to take off a little bit of the fat. But again, leaving a little bit on is okay. It will give taste to your sauce um, and it, it doesn't hurt it. So then what you want to do is just, you just want the small pieces of chunk, bite size. So that way you can pour yourself a bowl and not worry about having to cut while you're eating your lubi blaham. And this is pretty much how we get our meat together. I'm just cutting it up into little chunks. And then once this is all set, we can move to the stove and put it all together. All right, so I've had my pan on medium heat to get it heated. And then I will add two tablespoons of olive oil and give or take, depending on the type of pan that you have and how much oil you like to use. If you like more, you can do a little bit more. And if you have a different type of pan that doesn't require as much, then just do less. Now what I do is I'll add my salt, I'm sorry, my onions and my garlic and get them sauteed. And you wanna saute them long enough for them to be a little wilted. Probably about three minutes, three to four minutes. Um, if they get a little bit of the brown, not a big deal. It just gives them that little caramelized taste to them. But once they get started to wilt, we're going to add our meat. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. And as you can see, my onions are have wilted and my garlic. Now, some people like to put their garlic in after their onions have wilted a bit. Go ahead and do that. It's, again, it's your preference and how you're used to sauteing garlic and onions together. I've just always put them together and it's worked for me. Then I'm gonna add my meat. 
once my meat is added, I'm gonna go right into my spices over my meat. So I have a teaspoon of salt. Now salt and pepper is to taste, so you may wanna go less, you may wanna go more. A teaspoon of allspice. And a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then I'm gonna give these a good stir. And we're gonna keep them on heat for, well, I'm gonna say probably about five minutes, just until the meat is cooked thorough before we add our green beans. So it's been about six minutes, and as you can see, the meat is cooked and it's made that nice little sauce with it. At this time, we're ready to add our green beans. And just pour your green beans right in. You know, as I said, if they're, some of the green beans are too big, just go ahead and cut them in half. It is gonna be stewy. So what you wanna do is just kinda get these all tossed up together so that way the green bean can meet the meat and the meat can meet the green bean. And their juices are all together. This is one of our favorite comfort dishes. Make a nice bowl of it and just sit. Now, once again, I had said that we can add diced tomato. If you have like lots of garden tomato, go ahead and take about four or five nice big ones and then just make them into little chunks and you can use that in place of your tomato sauce. We've done that back when my father used to have a huge garden and that way you don't need canned or jarred tomato sauce or crushed tomato or diced tomato. So once these are all cooked in together, or tossed about a couple of minutes together and that way they're, the green bean is, is nice and blended with the meat and the sauces, you'll add your tomato. Now I used, again, crushed tomato. We put that together. And then just get this all stirred up. Now, the t depending on the type of tomato can or paste or, or not paste, sauce or crushed, you may not have a lot of juices with it. Some of them have juices. I know if you use like just diced tomato or chunk tomato from a can, it has its own juice. This one does not. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of mix them all in together. We like to have it a little bit more saucier than this way where it's dry. So what I'll do is once I mix them all in together, I'll add about a cup, maybe a cup and a half of water. And we wanna do is bring it to a boil. So here's about a cup of water. And then just let them settle and bring them to a boil. Once they start to boil, we will simmer and cover until our green bean is cooked and it's more like a stewie. Now I left my salt and pepper and my allspice out just to make sure for tasting wise. It's come to a boil. This is a good time to just grab a little tiny bit of your sauce and go ahead and taste it and see whether you wanna add a little bit of sauce, a little bit of salt, pepper, or allspice. Mine is perfect, it's delicious. Don't ask my husband, he'll say add more salt. But anyway, it's been about four minutes for it to come to a boil. Just make sure that the green beans are in its juices. Simmer to low heat and then we'll cover. We'll cover for about eight to 10 minutes and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Um, but overall your cooking time for it is gonna be a little bit of around 30 minutes, uh, give or take a couple of minutes. So it's been about eight minutes and I just wanna make sure that, give it a nice little stir and just make sure everybody is still happy together. Everything seems to be going okay, it's still simmering. I mean, just by touching my, my luby, my green beans, they're still a little, ten, little uh, tender. So what we're gonna do is just check on them. If you hadn't tasted your sauce yet, you can go ahead and taste it now. And then just keep it simmered 
and we'll cover it for another 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and this is exactly what you want it to look like. You wanna to look to see that your green beans have become soft and it's still all cooking together. If you find that it's not juicy enough, you can go ahead and add a little bit more water uh, and taste for any added spices to go with there. But this actually is exactly how it needs to be. And then you're ready to serve. So while our movie was cooking, we put together some rice, it is bechadilla, and you can find the link below to make it. And uh, the lubia, the lubia is fine to eat by itself. Of course, the rice is fine to eat by yourself, but this is how traditionally we like to eat it, is we'll add the stew, the lubia stew on top of our rice. A little bit of the zoom, which is the sauce. And there you have it, sahben. And I hope you've enjoyed this dish as much as we have enjoyed putting it together for you.